Try to make things happen very early on. Here's Paul. Berto. The hoop and the harm for Mr. Swami. Will not back down. That's what I love about this player. You know, a lot of people will say that, you know, he, he commands the ball too much, but he's so effective and he's he's showing it. Yes. Because of the when Kevin Alas went down with the ACL. And they got one in Robin Park. You know, you look at the, you know, they've, they've gone to a number of superstars that you know, like keep oh, them there. Here's Semerad against Travis. Seven seconds in the shot. Semerad, hand off to Herndon. Robbie, let it fly. Corner three on the way. Got it. Sends it over to Semerad. Semerad will attack. Takes it back out to Herndon. Eight seconds to shoot. Miranda, long two on the way. Got it. Blossom into the crap. Yeah. Miranda down low. Can't score. Here's Paul Lee on the break. That's tipped. And Herndon on the counter. Robbie scooping the court, sends it over to Bollick. Berto, 15 foot jumper on the way. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Even in their coaching staff, I think coach John Chico. Oh, yeah. One of the coaches that really taught me how to uh, be very scientific in basketball. Miranda, turn around, jumper on the wow, way. Rattles back it to back in. Jays. What, scored 46 <laughs> points in the previous game. I mean. <laughs> And he wants to get another 46 yeah. today. He's never met a shot that he doesn't want to. Thank you very much, Pao. So what she's really talking about is finishing a ticket. Why? Because they've got four wins now. And if you make five wins, that basically gets you into the quarterfinals, which is what happened in the previous conference. But I think the magic number is really six. Yeah, for you to be safe. Yeah. Well, it hits that uh, long bomb right there to go up 16 to three. Ian Sangala working his way down low. Let's take a look at this basket right here. That's the long bomb from Berto. And look at him just reading that pick and roll, seeing where the defense was going. Give him over to Bolik. That's a nice match of Bolik against Baraka. Nice pass down low. Back out to Semarad. Three ball on the way. Got it. I'm glad I can make you laugh though. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Here's Baraka over to Ariobu for three. Much needed basket there. Corpus sends it over to Mendoza. Mendoza working on Nieto, gets rid of the defense, puts it in. Uh, even Mendoza, one time. Eight seconds to shoot. Nieto working on Ariobu. Kick out to Semarad for three. Got it, second triple. Roger over to Marcelo. Looking for Valdez, instead skip past to Nieto. Nieto, tough shot, stuck there by Ian. And here comes the hot shots. Baroka to Sangalang. Ian working on Marcelo. Sangalang with the footwork. Stopped, however, by the big Dave. Here's Mar Mendoza, loses the rock to Roger. And here comes Nieto, tapped from behind by Mendoza. Ends up in the hands of Valdez. Now with Roger, skip pass to Nieto, 4-3. Wow, they are waxing hot from downtown, dog. 60% from the field are the Road Warriors, 25 for the hot shots. Halalon to Corpus. Back to Gio. Halalon, top of the key jumper on the way, got it. So low scoring so far for the hot shots. Tracker will attack, Tracker all the way to the basket, stopped there by the defense of Fajardo. And here's Gio Halalon. That's big, huh? Yeah. You know, so you, especially with your knees, right? Especially a guy like Gio, who, for the Road Warriors, seven assists for them. Corpus. Stopped there by the defense. Javelin at a triple <laughs> a track athlete. And, but what about Coach Chito waking up the, <laughs> in the hospital? Um, that's, that's what we don't want. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Lee. Sends it over to Escoto, who lets it fly from downtown. Got it! I feel a lot more credentials or uh, confidence from the to the coaching staff or from the coaching staff. Turned on from the logo drills it. And what a way to score your first field goal in yeah. the second quarter. Yeah. Twenty-nine to twenty-two. And that drought for N Lex, and they're gonna get a stop here. Bodies on the floor. Here's Amer all the way to the cup for two. One of the guys that, you know, were just waiting for him to really make a mark in the PBA. And, and they did that shot, just that. 
And you like the, the energy that the players brought yeah. to, the, to the game. And even when they were outside meeting the fans, uh, because we were there, we could see the competition was there, everybody was there to, to have fun, but also serious enough uh, you know, to put the game in and to try to win the game. Yeah, that was, that was a fun one. That was definitely Over to Eriobu. Now with Ahamisi, sends it over to Sangalang. Sangalang working on Miranda, spins away from the double team and puts it in. And you can see Sangalang kicks it back out to Baroka. You gotta put it up. And Mark just fires that one. Bolin. Now with Semina. Semina's corner three pointer on the way. Got it. There's Escoto. Now with Gio. Down to Escoto, he's got a size advantage over Macera. Maram puts it in. Here's Lee, running into Amer. Amer falls down, Sangalang puts it in. Well, hasn't scored yet here in the third period. And the pass somehow finds its way to Semerad and drills the corner three. Another three point shot against Escoto. The bench saying clear out for him. Bollick still with it, making his move. Bollick, I think the defense and puts it in. Bollick using the Fajardo screen. Bollick still with it. Skip pass over to Semera. Three pointer on the way. Another one. Kicks it back out to Nieto. Nieto back out to Bollick. Bollick all the way to the basket, puts it up and in. The hoop and the arm for Berto Bollick. Just great unselfish basketball that we're seeing for the Rule Dogs. There's Jarek. Look at that defense of NX helping each other out. Messi for three on cue. Dominic Uy. Patient that time for the Magnolia hot shots. They're going to try to set him up a few more times for sure. All the way to the basket. Puts it up and in. It's a mismatch against Bollick, sends it out to Paul Lee once again. Lee, tough shot, puts it up. Wow, he's really wow, struggling. Wow, yeah. Hey, but credit the defense of the Road Warriors. Nermal all the way to the cup for two. But he shares it wasn't an easy journey making it here to the PBA. He says at 17 years old, he was actually working as a construction worker. And it was only in 2019 when he made his way to Manila. Jan says it was really basketball that allowed him to provide a better life for himself and his family. And now that he's here fulfilling his dream to play in the PBA, he's looking to make the most out of every opportunity that he has on the court. Gentlemen. Thank you very much for that report, Pao. Of course, Nermal from Ilo, Ilo City. So five of the ten made coming from Tony Samara. Pasquale. Wow. Fajardo puts it in the hoop and the harm for Dominic Fajardo. Points and the foul. Dominic Fajardo up to six points in this game. That's a beautiful pass there. There's Pasquale. Against Napo. Ten seconds in the shot clock. Pasquale, the pick and roll, puts it in! Jake Pasquale, one of the veterans for the Road Warriors and also very familiar with Coach Franklin. Let's think. Lapo. Over to Barocca. Here's Lee. 4 3. Finally, Paul Lee drills one from outside. And next, not in a hurry here. They still have six seconds on shot clock. Nieto will find Miranda. Puts it in. When you talk about a team that is Lapo. Let's take a look at this once again. This is that pick and roll action between. Nieto and Miranda. Send it to Nieto. Miranda again. Oh, Finds great pass. Semerad who puts it in. The ball movement of NLEX has been really solid in this ball game. Rivas, 15 foot jumper is no good. Semerad all the way to the basket. And another layup there for the Road Warriors. Just getting beat once again down that floor. I'm sure Coach Shito not going to be happy with that effort. 20 points in the game for Tony Semerad. Laput in good position. 
Beautiful passing in there by the Road Warriors. 19 assists in total for the Road Warriors. Only 14 for Mongolia. No, they're still shooting 20. And in Pauline's uh, report earlier, she was saying that Coach Franke's just saying that they've just been getting it done because they've been beating the teams that they uh, are expected to beat as they score the scores down low. From pretty much the opening tip till yeah. now, 26 to 12 in that first quarter. And then 37 to 27 at the end of the first 24. Six seconds to shoot. Basser has got to do something with it. Amir lets it fly. Tough shot. Puts it in! Look at the intensity on Gia's face. Here's Miranda. Long two on the way. Splash! And you see Robert Bollick's reaction when his teammates are able to knock down their shots. He's the number one cheerleader. Nine assists in the ball game for Berto. To go along with 21 points. Ian Sangalang now is up to double digits as well. He's got 11. But you need other guys like uh, Paul Lee not able to score, right? Gio Lalo, not in their usual numbers. Yeah. Not able to dictate the tempo. Semerai, 4 3, not that time. One of the few misses he's had from downtown. What they want is uh, they're having Robert Bollick give up that basketball. Doubling him right away. Sangalang scores. Two baskets in a row here for Magnolia. Still a 16 point advantage, however, for the Road Warriors. Miranda. Now with Bolle. Step back three on the way. Got it! Hanisi will make his way to the basket. Stopped there by the defense of Semerai. Morel over to Corpo, so puts it in, plus the foul from Miranda. So it is now official. The NLEX Road Warriors will get this big W from start to finish. They were very dominant in this game.